some of you haven't uh, got too far in school, I and mean, how did y'all go about getting where y'all are? I mean, what kind of things did y'all have to get into? What kind of problems did y'all have? Well, well first of all, you got to be really dedicated to it. You got to be determined, you know. If you yeah. want to be a teacher, then you got to be dedicated. But we, like you said, we only had like a high school education. And so we were determined that we wanted to sing. And we got a lot of bad breaks. And if we had known, like, or had a lot of training in the music field, it maybe would have been easier for us. But like, we was just like the doo-wops, you know, like back in those days singing See, on the corner. want to be something else before you, you know, sing. Well, you I tell really you with me, yeah. uh, singing was an outlet from the street and the gangs and the, all that. That's what it was for me. As a matter of fact, I uh, knew that I was going to be out of it. I was going to hurt somebody, kill somebody, or do something, and that was an outlet. That and basketball and skating, I got into that. I was in the Boy Scouts. I was an Explorer Scout, advanced, and... Uh, Sometimes I'd be on my way in from a, a scout meeting or something like that, and I would have to pass this particular area, and it would always be a lot of guys out there that would see me walking by in this Explorer Scout uniform with the white spats. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just take your jacket off, my okay. cap. Hey, and like I'm saying, man, hey, sure that dude over there, you know. Look at that so I knew <laughs> right away, <laughs> I, to run I knew right away that I had to run. As a matter of fact, they used to call me In the Wind's Accent. Uh, after we started the group, uh, we would appear at a lot of the uh, little after school dances and things, you know. Friday and, night uh, dance. I remember one guy was arguing with me about something, and another dude say, man, don't mess with him. These guys gonna sing tonight, brother. And uh, that used to get us by a, a great deal. <laughs> but I can recall some times that I got caught, you know, and a guy told me, he said, brother, I've been hitting and uh, kicking guys like you for years. And I looked at him as I was getting up off the ground, you know, and I said, I've been ducking, dodging, and running for years <laughs> from you guys. And this stuff is reality. We's out in the, the zoo, in the woods, uh, basically. A community that was set up with projects and stuff. Matter of fact, half the people couldn't get downtown if they, if they didn't know how to catch the Conan bus down to Wilford Avenue and catch the streetcar, and they didn't have money to do that. Oh, I'd like to ask the three of you a question. If someone could wave a magic wand, and you could have anything, anything you desire, what would you want? I'd like a hotel and a, a mu amusement park, and that's about it. I think I can make it with that. They said it costed a lot of money to go to college, and I know my mother don't have that kind of money. And if I had it, I, that's what I'd do. See, that's all I want is a home. A dog, cat, a rat. <laughs> 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 Now I know my brother uh, is in the school system in Detroit. And um, it's hard for him to even get parents to come down when he calls them because they can't miss that day, you see. So I think emphasis has to be put on people being the, the uh, prime objective, you know, in the community. Uh, and not so much stress put on protecting the property. Because really, the, <laughs> there is no property without people. and. Uh, it's everybody's obligation in their community to see that the people in their community are worthwhile citizens. I think it all has to come back to everybody being concerned right. in the neighborhood about their neighborhood and being aware of what's happening there. You know, because I remember uh, a lot of times um, I would go and I'd have a temptation to do something wrong when I was a kid, but the lady down the street was <laughs> watching you. Yeah. And, uh, and if she didn't chastise you, all she had to do was let somebody know, and you were chastised. 